Hi everyone, welcome to MRKWP channel. It's been a while, but I'm back. Now, obviously with the COVID-19 virus thing going on, there's lots of people that are asking, particularly myself as a customer, to say, hey, can I put an alert bar at the top of my website? And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that using the WP Astra Pro theme. And we're gonna put that on without using any plugins at all, just a couple of simple snippets. So let's jump on into this tutorial and we'll show you how to get this done quick and easy. All right, so on this website, what we're looking at doing is adding a bar up the top here. So you can see we've got this blue area that's already using the above header section. And because we're already using the above header section, we need to think about, hey, how are we gonna put this on? So what we're gonna use is a different tool from Astra, and in particular, the custom layouts tool. Now, once you enable the Astra Pro modules and you've entered your license key, you go to the custom layouts area and just activate that plugin. And then what that does is under the Astra options here, you'll see that I've got a section called custom layouts. And inside there, I can add various custom layouts to my site and they do all sorts of different things using those layouts. So you can see I've got a draft item here. Um, I'll just edit that because I know that's got nothing in it. Obviously you'd go add new. We're gonna do that in a second. So don't stress out if you're gonna lose me. Now, the first thing we need to do is put some HTML in the top to make sure that we've got our little alert bar. To make it nice and easy for you, I've created an alert bar already and I've got a gist here. Um, you can check the links in the YouTube uh, description or if you're on the blog, you can read in the blog article. It'll be embedded right there on my blog on uh, our website, mrkwp.com. So you can see I've got the notify bar here. So I'm just gonna copy this and then I go over uh, to my website and I'm gonna say enable code editor, paste my snippet in and I'm gonna call this HTML notify bar. So up the top there, I write HTML notify bar. And then down here where we've got the layout settings, what I'm gonna use is what I call a hook. And the hook I'm gonna use is body top. This means that it's very top of my body. I'm gonna put this bit of HTML in here. I wanna display it on the entire website because hey, the COVID thing is affecting everybody. So I'm gonna put it at the top. And then I'm gonna say display for all users. This is so that when I look at the site, I can actually see it. And then what I do is publish this snippet. Uh, we're gonna jump into the snippet a little bit later in uh, the video. So just know that that HTML is gonna give us the desired look and feel. Uh, then I'm gonna add another item. And this time what I need is the CSS to style this snippet here. So I'm gonna copy this style uh, here and go back here and then I'm gonna enable the code editor once again. And this time I'm gonna paste that CSS in. This will be CSS notify bar like that. And this time when I use a hook again, I want, I want this to be inside the header of the HTML. So this is, I'm gonna put this at say HTML head top, right? So that's there, and again, I'm gonna display on the entire website. These rules should be exactly the same down here for the CSS. Um, this is styling that CSS bar, and then I click publish there. So what this is doing is putting some CSS in the header, putting some HTML in the body, and then when I go to my website and refresh it, you'll see as it refreshes there that we've got this new item up the top here latest news essential information. So this is the HTML and it's styled with the CSS just by copying and pasting those snippets. So if that's all you wanted to do, you can brush your hands and you're pretty much done. But what I'm now gonna do is take you through the CSS a little bit so you know what it means and how it works. And then we're gonna go through the HTML and some of the different options that you have there. So first of all, in the alert bar, there's two real sections to this, the top section here and the mobile section down here, because when it changes to mobile, things do change a little bit. So the top section, I've called everything with an ID of notify bar. So then I put a wrapper around it to help align things. So first of all, I put five pixels of padding around everything. So when we look at the item, that's got five pixels of padding around all of this that we've written there. Next up, I've got the icon wrapper. So the icon here is actually part of the ultimate Gutenberg uh, toolkit that I've got, um, and it's an SVG icon. 
Now, I just copied the SVG, so it'll literally bring that SVG icon over because all the code is in the HTML here, right? So it's all written there as code. So you don't have to worry about a, a file doing an image or something like that that's being included, which makes your stuff load a little bit quicker. Um, but this is really stating that this wrapper around that gives a bit of spacing around it so it can be positioned. And that's really important for the mobile view. Next, we have the title. So that's the whole title itself, that whole bit of wording over the top. The SVG, the little icon itself, has some color fill there to set the color of it, and I'll put some padding on that as well, uh, making sure that it fits in there, because SVGs can be any size you want them to be. Then the notify bar itself, the center alignment of all of that, and the background color of the whole bar I've got there. And then I've got the media for the mobile views, and this changes the view. So when I go up here and go into my tools and go to developer tools here, and I turn on the responsive view, you can see how it's, it's, it's positioned a little bit differently. Forget my little face there, that's because I'm logged into the WordPress admin, but you can see the way that that's positioned. So all this extra spacing around the notify icon, that is done um, inside the mobile CSS query. So that's what we're controlling because otherwise it, it kind of looks a little bit jumbled up and doesn't look real good. So we've added in some extra CSS to deal with this. Um, so that just really has a float. So I'm floating the icon instead, the, that SVG image, and I've changed the notification title to be block level and put some absolute positioning on it as well. So that's the way all of that works there. Now, if you wanna change colors, uh, the main items you wanna look at is this item here on line 13 in the CSS where the color is white. You can change that color to whatever you want using CSS. Uh, the fill of the icon, that is also white, and then the main background. So there's three colors, the background, the fill, and the text color. So that's all inside there. Next, we'll look at the HTML itself. So I've got a notify bar as a div container. Then I've got a wrapper, which aligns everything. Then I've got my icon wrapper, which is just for my SVG icon to give me that bit of padding and control that I wanted on mobile. And then I've got a link. So the whole thing is one link. And inside of that, I've got my bolding area for the latest news in the text. So if you wanna change the link that yours goes to, mine is just there. Um, you can change that to whatever you like. And that's got a class there as well of the notification title to target it through the CSS. So again, some pretty simple HTML there. And, and that's it, that's all that we've done. So we've gone from this, where we had no bar at all, and now we have our alert up the top. So now we have it looking like this. Excellent. Now, you might be saying to me, Matt, why wouldn't I just get a plugin for this? Well, some really good reasons. When we look at this amount of code here, this is a very small amount of code. We've got 41 lines of code before minification takes place. It's not much at all. And I've got eight lines of HTML. Why would you get a plugin to replace that? Well, it would only be if you had special conditional rules. For example, you might want to show a notification bar on a set condition and have it hide with a cookie, for example, that you would need some JavaScript and some more powerful logic. That's when you'd go to a plugin. But really, this uh, the Astra theme already has enough power for me to inject the CSS, inject the HTML, and control where I want it on my web page. So why would I go and get a plugin? If you can avoid doing something with a plugin, you should, because writing a small amount of code is much easier to maintain. The real cost of a plugin is not the cost on the plugin repository when you download it. The maintenance cost is often bigger. You know, the real cost of WordPress is not free because you've got to host it, you've got to maintain it, you need someone who knows what they're doing so you don't get hacked. You might need a couple of plugins and things to manage it. So the real cost is never free. Um, whereas something like this, the cost is very minimal because unless HTML and CSS changes across browser, there's not gonna be an issue here for me, okay? And that means that, that I'm very unlikely gonna face a scenario where there's gonna be a change in a plugin update for WordPress 5.4, for example, or whatever comes out that's gonna cause this to break. And that is a great reason to code it. You know, it's a very simple little snippet of code. So look, that's it for today. If that's helped you, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, you can give me a thumbs down, but leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this tutorial and what do you think about Astra Pro? 
If you need links for the code, just check in the description. It's all down there. If you need a link to Astra, I've also linked that further down. Yes, it is an affiliate link. If you don't want to click the affiliate link, just Google it, you'll find it easy enough. And um, I hope this has helped you be able to respond a little bit more easily to the stuff from the COVID-19 alerts that we all have to start putting on our websites so we can be responsible corporate citizens. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. All right, I'll see you in the next one.